Hey fam, welcome back to Tori's Lifestyle and Vlog. Thank you so much for stopping by. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about how to contact the UK VR, which is a UK home um, office, okay? And the reason I'm doing this video is because in my previous videos, I've had a lot of you asking me how to contact the UK home office, how to contact the UK visas and immigration service and that's why i've decided to do this video especially for you okay so i want you to bear in mind that the uk um, home office the immigration service is actually having a lot of backlog because of the ukrainian refugee situation like i said before and also for a lot of other factors the implication of this is that a lot of visas have are being delayed so visas are not being processed within the time frame that's expected for visas that's supposed to be taking three weeks are taking up to six weeks those are supposed to be taking up to 12 weeks are taking even more okay so just bear that in mind but before i go on if this is your first time of coming to my channel and you like videos like this then please subscribe turn on your bell icon so you don't miss out on any of my videos going forward if you want to contact the home office then this is how you can do it so you can either contact them on phone like i said before in my previous videos or you can contact them online or by email so if you have a privilege of getting an email address with them then you can contact them via an email okay you can also contact them on twitter as well because i saw someone that said they contacted the uk vi via twitter and they got a reply so if you go to twitter and just type uk visas and immigration you will be able to get an address that will come up for you to contact them but i'm going to walk you through how to contact the uk home office today okay so the first thing you want to do is to go to the gov.uk website so gov.uk gov.uk gov.co.uk sorry so gov.co.uk i'll put a link to the website in my comment section so you can just click on that link and just follow step by step the process i'm going to be showing you i'll be using my phone to walk you through it so that i don't give you the wrong information so it will say help for people living in ukraine and there's a te there's a telephone number there yes i think there are two telephones number telephone numbers that are there that you can use to contact the home office so if you are in ukraine or you've lived in ukraine or you need help for you know someone that that's in ukraine or has lived in ukraine and needs help with immigration you just need to click on that to get that telephone number and then contact them so there are two numbers and it says they are open seven days a week and it's 24 hours calls are free of charge okay so that's for the people for ukraine but if you go if you go further down so if you scroll down it will tell you contact ukvi for another reason so if you're not from ukraine if you have any other questions you want to ask maybe about your application then you want to you want to click on there's a, a green thing there that says find contact details so if you click on that link that says find contact details it will ask you where are you contacting the ukvi from there are two options there one is inside the uk or outside the uk so you need to click on the one that that um that concerns you so if you're contacting the, the uk home office from the uk you click inside the uk if you're outside the uk you click from outside the uk i'll just click on outside the uk and then it tells you next steps so the next page that comes up is what the question there is what do you need help with Okay, so there are about eight options there. So applying for settled or pre-settled status, using the UK Immigration ID Check app. There's using the EU Exit ID Document Check app. Accessing your UK visas and immigration account for updating your account. So there are different options. Applying for British citizenship or nationality. And, and the last one there is something else. So if what you're contacting the home office is not among the list, then you want to click on something else so i will click on something else okay and then the next thing that comes up is next step so i click on next step and the question is what language do you want to use so there there are two options okay and um, what language do you want to use to speak to someone on the phone or to get a reply by email remember i said there are two options either by email or by phone so if there are two options there either english or a language other than English okay so if you are an English speaking person you click on English and if you are not an English speaking person you click on a language other than English what this means that if you contact someone you get someone that speaks your language on the phone so if you contact the UK VI on the phone 
they will they will bring uh, put you through to someone that speaks your language and if it's by email you'll get a reply with your language as well so i'm an english speaking person so i click on english and again click on next steps okay so i click on next steps and it says contact the uk visa for help help with your visa application or other problems okay and just list the things that you need help with maybe technical problems problems logging in problems with making a payment and all of that and then it gives you the option to, to contact them online or by phone okay so this page is where you actually get the actual details that you use to contact them so it takes you through all those steps and brings you to this final page that says contact the UK visas and immigration so if you if you decide to contact um, the UK via by by online every every query costs two pounds seventy four so which means that if you send an a, a query and they reply you everything that's related to that query would not be charged any extra cost but if you have any other query that would be another two pounds seventy four pens okay so this they will normally get a, a reply within five working days except on on fridays and saturdays sundays and uk bank holidays okay so but it's saying here that if you want a response and quicker so if you want to get a reply sooner then the best thing for you to do is to contact them by phone and if you click to the, if you scroll down you see the telephone number there okay so and it also says they are open to, from monday to friday for 24 hours which means they are not open on weekends okay call costs 69 pence per minute on top of your standard rate so say for instance you are calling by I don't know if you're coming from nigeria and you're using mtn however much mtn charges you plus 69 pence which is a uk and coach and call charge okay so that's what you're going to pay um for every minute that you you speak to them so there are two numbers if you want to contact them the first one is a plus four four three hundred number and the other one is a plus four four oh two or three number so whichever one you're able to contact them with that will be fine going back to the online um inquiry so if you decide to do it online you will need to put your details so your name your bank details even before you start okay but um they won't charge you until your message has been sent okay so this is an easy way to contact the uk home office like i said before if you do want to contact the home office you can do that if you think your application is being delayed for no reason or if you just want to know the status of your application you can contact them and just say hello what's happening with my application but like i said before bear in mind that they have a lot of workloads that they're going through so we want to be reasonable and give them enough time to process all the applications that they have especially with the recurring refugees give them more time because i was reading that a, a visit visitor visa which normally takes three three weeks now takes about six weeks okay but they are doing their best to make sure that it is processed within three weeks okay so let's be reasonable don't bombard them with emails because the more emails you send them the more work they have and if you're sending them an email like I said before it, you need to give them at least two weeks to respond so if you send an email today give them two weeks if you haven't heard anything at least two weeks you can give them more time if you want give them at least two weeks if you haven't heard anything back then send another email okay so this is just a quick one for me I thought I'll bring this update for you because I know some people have been asking me how do I contact the home office what's the UK contact number what's the email address but here you go. I hope this video is helpful. If it has helped you, give it a thumbs up. Share with your friends and family. And of course, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.